Hi friends, DK this side. So friends, India now celebrates 75 years of independence on 15th August 2022. Although this video is meant for US stock market analysis, where we will undertake the technical analysis of S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, DXY, Metaverse ETF and Euro USD as the video comes every week, every Saturday on your channel. But let us talk about Indian stock market uh, briefly because Indian stock market has celebrated already 75th Independence Day of India. What has been the achievement of Indian stock market? Number one, during the period when majority of the markets in the world were in bear market territory, Indian war market managed to only correct to an extent of nearly 18%. At the same time, all economic indicators indicate that India is going to be the fastest growing economy in next two years. Thirdly, while the China and USA PMI data were very, very bad, while Indian PMI data, manufacturing, manufacturing PMI data was par excellence and it was the best PMI data in last eight months. US yield curve, UK yield curve inverted during the period in 2022 while there was no sign of inversion in India. So in many ways, India as an economy, India as a country, India as a stock market has certainly outperformed the global market in the year 2022, where there was a quite a great deal of weakness across the world in the stock markets. So friends, before we go to the price chart to undertake the analysis on various indices, we will have a broader outlook as to which are the sectors that contributed to the rise of S&P 500 in the last week. Friends, do not forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell. In last seven days, the trending sectors were energy, materials, financials, real estate, telecom sector, industrials, consumer discretionary, utilities, tech stock, healthcare space, consumer staples. So broader market has seen a contribution from almost every sectors of economy. However, the top performing sector in the last seven days were energy sector. So friends, now let us straight away go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis of various US stock market indices. And friends, do not forget to like the video and watch the video till end because we are bringing at the end of this video another version of Har Ghar Tiranga, Indian flags at every home. S&P 500 index in the last week surges 3.26%. It is very important to note that for a long time, a Nasdaq 100 was outperforming S&P 500. But in the last week, S&P 500 has outperformed Nasdaq 100. It indicates clearly that the broader market has started participating in this journey up move in the indices and in the stock market. What we can see over here is that uh, uh, the momentum in the last week was higher than the prior week, which is very significant. So the price after a massive downtrending move entering into the bear market phase consolidated for many, many weeks near SMA 144 and then finally the journey is started and we can see four weeks of upside move in S&P 500. Now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the price action. What we can see here, this was a, a multiple support, multiple support, price rejection. So this area was a resistance and yes, 
it took a resistance here price consolidated for many days near the resistance area and finally given a breakout with a break away gap on 10th august and then finally the price is not trading above EMA 21, EMA 55, SMA 144. And the last trading session saw a massive formation of one white soldier candlestick pattern. Now, based on the price action, the price is now fast approaching towards SMA 233. So, based on price action, we can see the multiple support and consolidation band. So, 4386 to 4500. Uh, 500 level becomes a supply zone and if you calculate the target based on this rounding kind of shape uh, formation and a breakout over here with a breakaway gap the target also comes at 4508 so there is a quite a upside move left out in S&P 500 at the same time we can see the massive consolidation price rejection over here price support so we can say that 4133 to 4176 is an important demand area and there is an intervening support at 4160 where the price has consolidated to many resistance over here so now let us go to nasdaq 100 let us first check in the weekly time frame nasdaq on week to week basis has given a return of 2.71% and now Nasdaq had closed above uh, EMA 55 in weekly time frame. Now what we can see over here is that uh, uh, I, I think uh, let us go to the week, uh, daily price chart to understand the price action better. We can see there was a downtrending move and then there is a breakout over here of this symmetrical triangle and it is not only the symmetrical triangle but we can see the left shoulder right shoulder and breakout has taken place if we calculate the target of this breakout of either symmetrical triangle or inverse head and shoulder the next possible target comes at 13850 and then 14506 and there is an intervention of uh, sma 233 in this zone based on the price action we can see the consolidation band so we can consider 13,850 to 14,210 to be a supply zone in the next week. However, here we can see the gap is existing. So 13,095 to 13,300 remains to be the demand area in the forthcoming week. Now let us go to the Metaverse ETF. We can see the Metaverse ETF in the last week has given a return of 4.43%. Uh, uh, so Metaverse ETF has not only outperformed NASDAQ 100, but has outperformed the broader market S&P 500 also. Now what we can see here in the daily price chart that price has taken resistance in the uh, trading session on 11th August on SMA 144 because that happens to be the confluence of SMA 144. At the same time, if we calculate the target of this inverse head and shoulder, uh, left shoulder, right shoulder. The target, first target was at 10.2 to 10.3. The targets were achieved and there was a formation of some kind of shooting star. So next target is 11.06 over here. So based on the price action, we can see the price uh, has taken a resistance over here and then a resistance over here. So 9.67 to 9.85 to be uh, probably be zone which will act as a demand zone on upside 11 uh, to 11.82 where the price will face resistance over here remains to be the supply zone for the forthcoming week. Now let us check the dollar index. We are looking at the price chart of DXY US dollar currency index. What we can see there is a some kind of distribution pattern uh, emerging in this price action. We can see let me draw and explain you that this is the left shoulder price has come down and then form the head kind of formation and then there was a breakdown of this head and shoulder now this should be considered as a merely a pullback based on price action we can see the multiple price rejection here multiple price rejection here so 106.3 106.6 will be acting as a supply zone in dollar index while on downside, immediate support is at 104.6.
But if we calculate the target of head and shoulder that I have drawn, the target comes at 103.1 and then possibly may fall to 101.5. So uh, dollar index is likely to be weakening in coming weeks. Uh, that is what the price action is suggesting. Now let us go to the Euro USD currency pair. We had been discussing about this currency pair that is trading in the falling channel and we can see again the price is taking resistance on the upper fiber of this falling channel. So based on price action over here, multiple support can be seen. Rejection has been taking place from here. So 1.0358 to 1.04060 remains to be the supply zone in the forthcoming week. However, price has consolidated for a, a long time in this zone. So based on the price action, 1.01738 to 1.01910 will remain as a demand area in this currency pair. Friends, do not close the video. Now we are running the small video developed by Government of India, Ministry of Culture. So watch it this. Uh, video which has been developed by the government of India. Happy 75th anniversary of Indian independence to all of you friends. Enjoy and enjoy this video. Bye.